Welcome to Data Project Hub. In today's video, we will go through a tricky SQL interview question. So first we will start with the table that we are going to make use of in this video. The table is called as phone log table. So phone log table has three columns namely source phone number, destination phone number and call start date time. So these are the three columns which are available in the phone log table. And this table records all phone numbers that we dial in a particular day. So that is the transaction that is being recorded in the phone log table. Let me query the phone log table and then let us go through the question. So here is the phone log table. It has got three column source phone number. This is the destination phone number and this is the call start date time. These are the three columns which are available. Now we have to write a query to display the source phone number and a flag where the flag need to be set to Y if first called number and the last called number are the same and n if the first called number and last called number are different. So this is the question. I have created the expected output in an excel file so that we can compare the input table and expected output and see what is the transformation that we are going to do in this query. So now let us go to the expected output table and see what is the output that we are going to obtain in this video. So here is the exact same table which we saw in SSMS and this is the expected output that we are going to obtain in this video. So here we have to write a query such that we have to obtain a new column called as flag where we have to specify y or n based on the first called number and the last called number. So if we are taking the example of source phone number 2345 the first called number is 6789. So we can refer to the call start date time column to see when the call has been recorded. So based on that transaction we can see that this is the first call with respect to source phone number 2345. And coming to the last call with respect to 2345 again the destination phone number is same which is 6789. So corresponding to 2345 the flag should be Y because whenever the first destination phone number and the last destination phone number is same the flag should be set to Y. And when coming to the source phone number 3311, we can see that the first destination phone number is 7890 and the last destination phone number is 1234, which are different. So the flag corresponding to that particular source phone number should be set to N. So this is the logic based on which we have to write the query in this video to get the expected output. Now let us go back to SSMS and see how we can obtain the expected output. First we will start with a select clause. Select the required columns are source phone number and the second column which is required is destination phone number and the third column which is required is call start date time and this is taken from the table phone underscore log. So these are the three columns which are required. Execute this and we will get the same columns only. So instead of writing star I just wanted to explicitly specify the column names. So at a later stage it will be easy for us to Come back and look at this query and see what we did at the initial stage. Now we will make use of the raw number function to create a flag based on which we can see which is the first destination phone number and which is the last destination phone number. For that we will make use of row number in the function. Row number open and close parenthesis over the partition should be based on source phone number that is partition by source underscore phone number and the order by clause should be based on call start date time which should be in ascending order order by let me copy the column name that is call start date time and here the order i am going to specify is ascending order and the column will be named as start underscore flag so s underscore flag so this is the first column and now we will write the same function but the only change instead of ascending we will make use of descending over here descending and the column name will be e underscore flag. Now execute this and we will get two new column which is s underscore flag and e underscore flag. Let me order the result as well then it will be easy for us to analyze the result at every stage. Order by call start date time. Let it be in ascending order. I will also make use of the source phone number. Source phone nbr. Yeah execute this and we will get the ordered result. Now we can see that based on the s underscore flag and e underscore flag column we can identify the 
first destination phone number and the last destination phone number. For example, for the partition 2345, you can see that S underscore flag is one corresponding to the destination phone number 6789. So this is the first destination phone number corresponding to 2345. And corresponding to E underscore flag, we can see that this record, which is the fifth record corresponding to 6789, is the last destination phone number. So, based on the S underscore flag and E underscore flag column, we can fetch the first destination phone number and the last destination phone number from the result we have obtained. So, we will place this here inside a CTE first. With T1 as open and close parenthesis, place this entire query inside a CTE then the order by clause should be commented out. Otherwise, we will get some error in the outer clause. Now, we will again write a select clause from the T1 CTE. Now, in this outer query, we are going to make use of the function max to find the corresponding first destination phone number and last destination phone number with respect to each, each source phone number. For that, the first column that we write here is source underscore phone underscore number. And the second column will be based on max function open and close parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we have to make use of the case statement that is case when s underscore flag equal one then the destination phone number destination underscore phone underscore number and the case statement and the column will be named as first number and similarly, we will write a second case statement that is based on the same function. Let me copy the max function with the case statement. But inside the case statement, instead of S underscore flag, we are going to make use of E underscore flag and the column name will be last underscore number. So these are the two new column which we are creating based on the first CTE T1. Execute this. Sorry, before executing this, we will have to make use of the group by close also. Group by source phone underscore in br paste it here execute this and we will get the first destination phone number and the last destination phone number corresponding to each source phone number now based on the two columns we can compare the two column and create a new column which is called as flag in which we can specify y if the two numbers are equal and n if the two numbers are different so again we will place this query inside a second cte that is t2 as open and close parenthesis select the first column which is required is source phone number and now we will write a case statement based on which we will create the flag column that is case when first underscore number equal last underscore number then the value should be y and the second condition is when first underscore number not equal to last underscore number then the value should be n and then end the case statement and the column name should be flag now execute this and we will get the exact same result which we were looking for so this is the result which we initially saw in excel where the source phone number is the first column and we have a new column which is created based on the first destination phone number and the last destination phone number corresponding to each source phone number Try solving this question using your own method and share the solution if you have some interesting methods. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Thank you.